How to create HDR additive shader graph for particle system use. In this video, I am going to share how to control color, transparency, color over lifetime, showing texture properly, and using HDR additive in particles. As usual, we create a new shader graph, lit, new material, and apply to a new particle system. Let's take a look in graph settings first, material set to lit, type set to transparent, and set the mode to additive. Render face set to both. For performance concern, uncheck shadow settings. We are going to add vertex color node and output to base color to allow us can control particle color. Because we choose additive mode for this shader graph in the beginning, we can see this particle already has strong brightness. Let's set particle to lower amount and change to a different color. We can see the particle color is able to control now. Next, to control the transparency, we need to split the alpha from vertex color and output to alpha on the right. Now we can see different result if you adjust the transparency settings or color over lifetime. For showing texture properly, we use Texture 2D plus Sample Texture 2D nodes. Let's take care the texture, no alpha, itself and output to base color from RGBA. Let's take a look in the scene. The texture is showing properly. Next, we should remove the black background of the texture. Simply output to alpha from the same RGBA, because it contains alpha data already. The background of texture is removed. Now we are going to add HDR color. For using HDR color, we can add a new color property on the left and set to HDR mode. We also set color to white and intensity to zero as default. Then we multiply, combine, with the current output to the base color. In the scene, HDR seems not strong enough because we set the intensity to zero. We adjust particle amount to one and increase the HDR intensity higher to see how the brightness of HDR affects. If you don't want HDR, you can go back to increase particle amount to add up the brightness. It's up to you.